It's showtime. <laughs> okay. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to a history video of Isaac Cook. And this time, this is Biznik Schnook. The opposite version of me. And to be honest, Biznik Schnook was actually created by accident. Now, before I move on, I mainly want to address that uh, Biznik Schnook is not supposed to be making fun of the deformed. Even though he is deformed, I mainly think uh, Biznik Schnook, the reason why he is deformed actually was because of an accident. Not in the context of the character, like the actual history of the character, he was made because of an accident. So, and besides, I do actually like the idea of an opposite character, that's why I like Wario and Waluigi so much. And to have an opposite version of me would be really cool. And besides, since Mario and Waluigi are morbidly deformed versions of Mario and Luigi, it makes sense that Biznik Schnook would be too. So keep in mind, Biznik Schnook is not supposed to be making fun of the form. I never made a single deformed joke with Biznik Schnook, so yeah. So anyways, Biznik Schnook is a very interesting character. Character, like I stated before, he was created by complete accident. So, this is a complete history of Biznik Schnook. Now, keep in mind, I want to pronounce this right now, that Biznik Schnook's name is spelled B-Z-Z-N-I-C-K and S-H-N-C-O-O-K. When I drew mine of the original picture, his name was actually pronounced B-S-S-A-C and S-H-C-O-O-K. I realized that that did not sound like Biznik, and it sounded Bizek. Bizek. And the schnook part was sh cook, sh cook, yeah, basically. So I decided to change it where these s's were z's, and then I realized that nick part, so I added the biznik, and then uh, the schnook. I realized that when I was pronouncing it schnook, so I put an n between the h and c, so biznik schnook. Now biznik schnook was actually made by complete other accident. So we were making this art project in fifth grade where we draw self portraits ourselves and I draw the art teacher and she looked like Peter Griffin. I am not kidding. If you saw that original drawing, which I wish I had on me right now, she looked identical to Peter Griffin. Except really stringy hair and not butt chin. Then I added the chin, so it just looked like Peter Griffin. No, she didn't have the glasses though. Yeah. But anyways I draw myself and then the thing was more really uh disfigured, and then I realized, hey, I can actually make a character with this. So I decided to call him Biznik Schnook. Actually, no, I didn't think of him actually being a character. The name Biznik Schnook was similar to something like Freddy Foosbear, which I realize now that I pronounce Foosbear as F-O-Z-B-E-R, B-E-A-R, so actually his name is Freddy Fosbear. I've been pronouncing his name wrong this whole entire time. I'm an idiot. But, um, anyways, back to his nick. Uh, he was mainly just a stupid joke. I, you know, named him similar to Freddy Foosbear. And those two actually do have a lot in common because Biznik is an opposite. Like, Biznik's a weird, derpy version of me, and Freddy is a weird, derpy version of Freddy. Wow, I never knew they had so much in common. But, anyways, uh, so, yeah. Anyways. I realized that, hey, I can actually include it in some of my drawings, and that's what I did. Biznik was kind of a regular in some of my drawings. Um, so if I had me in it, chances are Biznik would be in it. And some of the time, me, I wasn't even in there, it was just Biznik. Nick, but some of those drawings I did out of pure laziness. Some of them were completely terrible, but, um, but um, anyways... <laughs> Anyways, I realized that my drawings did not have that much character, much original characters. Yes, I did have parodies of characters, like Mickey Mouse, for example. But, unlike Mickey Mouse, those are parodies. Those are characters that already exist. There's nothing... I only technically had three characters in my drawings. Me, Biznik, and Jaden. But then again, that's kind of a cough-out, because me and Jaden do actually exist. So, technically... Biznik was really the only original character, and that kind of applies to my videos, too. I only had technically two characters, me and Jaden, but then again, you can back you can backstab me and state that we exist 
we exist. We're not in the realm of fantasy. See, I didn't make up those characters, so technically there was no original characters on my show. And before you count, like, you know, the prototype appearances of the goons or gar, you know, garbage from WTF9, keep in mind those were, those were appearances that I never wanted to include again. Those were appearances that were just going to, you know, just be gone. They were just one-off appearances until I eventually made them into actual full-fleshed-out characters right, you know, right now, but... You know, in 2019 and stuff. But, um, anyways. Um, so, yeah. That was mainly, uh, why I decided to make the characters of Garbage and Recycle and the Goons in Costa Rica per Vida. I did also have one character, which was Blue Bear. He, he's basically a big stuffed bear. He's not even blue. There's, like, no color services in a blue. I don't know why I did blue. But, um, anyways. Anyways, I did do some drawings with him, but I don't know when I, he's going to officially appear in a video. Yes, I did make out with him in the Isaac Insane Rage video, but that was mainly a joke, obviously. But, uh, he'll appear one day. One day. But, um, anyways, back to the Nick. Uh, I realized that really the, like, really the only character that I needed to introduce, uh, last was Biznick, and he was... And, uh, he eventually debuted in a video. Now, keep in mind, uh, you might be wondering, uh, okay, so, I did do these videos where I take a look at some of my old notebook drawings. Drawings, and mainly, mainly, this Nick was a regular character. I even gave an introduction to him, to him, but I'm gonna really count those as prototype appearances. Like something like Happy Rabbit, where Happy Rabbit is a prototype of Bugs Bunny. Buddy, I'm mainly gonna count those as prototype appearances, and then again, you know, that wasn't really a Biznik's official debut in a, you know, in a video. Video, he, he didn't, he didn't have, I didn't give him a speaking role at all, he wasn't even, he was just a character I made in the, in the paper, so, yeah. And also, before I move on, here's how you do, here, here's how you do Biznik, so, you gotta roll up your lips, like, here's how I do Biznik, you gotta roll up your lips, and then, like, close, you gotta close your right eye, or your left. Your left eye. Right. I don't know which one. Just look at my videos. <laughs> I'm just gonna say right eye, but if it's left, then I'm an idiot. But anyways, and then you got you gotta sound like you gotta shout like a you know you gotta shout like a rubber or something like that. You got you gotta shout like. And then you gotta raise the voice up, and then boom, you got the snick. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how I do Biznick Snook, okay? And uh, Biznick Snook's official debut in a video, video which conveniently I got is the video, a new character. I, this one was very simple of an appearance, it was just an introduction to Biznick. To Biznick. So here's his first ever appearance. You know, if you can act there, I hope you can see it better. So this was Business Nook's first ever debut in a video. So anyways, yes, yeah, so this it was uh Business Schnook's first debut in a video. Video. So his premise was that he lived under. He was a clone of man. He lived under my uh, my basement. Now you might be wondering. This sounds similar to a plot they had in Simpsons, specifically in the Treehouse of Horror, horror episode, where Bar had a you know twin brother that they locked away in the attic. And you're correct. You're correct. That's kind of the same premise with Biznik. Stick, but there is a difference, obviously. He lived in the attic, but Zinnick lives in the basement, and Zinnick's not, and, uh, he was a son, he was a, he was a twin, and, uh, Zinnick was a clone, also, uh, uh, Bard's twin brother is called Hugo, I think, in the thing, I never watched it, but, um, anyways, anyways, uh, so, yeah, that was, uh, Zinnick Schnuff's, uh, grand debut, <laughs> debuted in the video, so let's move on to his next appearance. Next appearance. Biznik Schnook's next appearance was in the video Gooning Goon 2. Now, I explain more of this video in the Gooning Goon, the history of the Goons episode. So, but, uh, it was, uh, it was very simple. 
simple basically. It's very it was a very simple uh basic idea. Idea where uh where business you know, they're in the basement, so Business Shook gets a cameo appearance. Business Shook also debuted on my Facebook book in the Biznik Schnook and Peeps dot and before where he was mainly the one making the video to hack into my Facebook account and make a really weird video. So yeah, eventually Biznik Schnook mainly went on a long hiatus. He didn't really appear that often in videos anymore. More for some reason. He was a new character but he didn't debut that much anymore. More it was, it was yeah. I'm very careful at introducing new characters, but don't worry. Uh, Biznik Schnook lives in our hearts. But anyways, uh, Biznik Sh uh, next appearance for Biznik Schnook, Schnook was uh, actually latest, what? actually latest video, which is Biznik Schnook plays Mario Bros. Now this one's a new video. You can go check it out, but it's just Biznik Schnook playing Mario. And I hope uh, I actually think that's a really cool idea to have. You know, instead of me playing video games. You know, by myself without any other people, I can just have Biznik Schnook play them because I think it would give more of a comedic effect effect to the video. Video since Biznik Schnook is kind of like an over exaggerated version of me. But uh, anyways, now in my opinion, the best debut of Biznik Schnook was actually not even one of my own dang videos. It was one of Jaden's, which is the video Origins. Now, Origins is, in my opinion, a pretty good video. It explains the backstories of Biznik and one of Jaden's characters, the interviewer. And I will eventually do the interviewer, by the way. What, I'll probably do it after uh, some other character. But, um, anyways. Anyways, uh, the video is uh, very simple. Yeah, very simple. And also, if you did watch the video, you might remember that uh, I uh, bonked my head, head when Biznik Schnuck came out. Hey, mounds. Here's the scene. All right, well, folks. Um, here's, here's, here's the grand scene. Here. Oh, so yes, that uh, that scene where I bonked my head, that actually hurt. I actually fit. I I. It wasn't made for comedic effect. That actually hurt my head a lot, and I was... Luckily, uh, that scene was still in there. And to be honest, it does actually have a lot more of a comedic effect. So, uh, that's been really Biznik Schnook's entire appearance? Wait, what? Dang, I thought he had more videos. I, sh I should probably include him in more videos sometimes. Ugh. But um, anyways, yeah. yeah. So, uh, that's mainly all of Biznik Schnook's appearances. So far, he he probably would be he's probably going to be in more videos, videos. But that's all the videos of his Nick Schnook. That's the complete history of his Nick Schnook. And don't worry, he'll probably appear in more videos uh, sometime in the future. Sure, maybe maybe I can start wearing a top hat and you can start wearing a fedora. But anyways, uh, that is the complete history of his Nick Schnook. Next time I'm gonna take a look. Next time I'm gonna take a look at the pink stabby stab rabbit. See ya.